In today's video, we are looking at abstraction, collage, and the artist John Arp, and we're asking what do chants and notan have to do with abstract compositions? Let's find out using black and white paper and a glue stick. But first, who is Jean Arp? And why is he sometimes called Hans Arp? And what did he discover with collage by chance? If you search for Hans Arp, you'll find Jean Arp. And if you search for Jean, you'll get Hans. Why? Because they're the same names. Hans is German and Jean is French for the English name John. When we are exploring Jean Arp's experiments with abstraction and collage, it's important to realize that many of his discoveries and innovations were created in collaboration with the Swiss artist Zolfi Taiba. The two artists started working together in 1916 and they married in 1922. Look at these examples from 1916-1917. On the left, two paper collages by Jean Arp, and on the right, an abstract composition and embroidery by Zofi Taiba. They were using these quite unconventional art materials for the period, trying to achieve new forms at the very beginnings of modern abstract art. Now we jump forward to the 1930s and here we see the first papier déchiré or torn paper collages and the first evidence that Jean Arp was interested in surrealist ideas about using the laws of chance to create art. Because in these collages he supposedly let the pieces of paper fall onto a large sheet of paper in a random way before he glued them in place. But were they purely chance creations? Did he simply drop pieces of torn paper from a height and glue them down where they fell? It's a nice idea. However, we do know that Arp was also interested in constructivist ideas about ordered, rational compositions. So in these 1930 torn paper collages, do we maybe see a balance between surrealist chance and constructivist order? I think we do. Look at how the pieces of torn paper seem to be placed quite carefully, with none overlapping and some only just touching. You will get to test this idea for yourself. As you will soon see, when pieces of torn paper are simply dropped onto a sheet, they fall unevenly and often clump together and overlap. They need to be adjusted, sometimes a little, sometimes quite a lot, to create a successful composition. And a successful composition is one that achieves a balance, a harmony between the black shapes and the white spaces. And in early 20th century art, one of the most influential visual languages of balance and harmony came from Japan. Let's jump back in time to the middle of the 19th century. At that time, Japan had chosen to remain closed to the West for centuries fearing the loss of its culture and customs. It was a mystery. However, Japan was forced by Western powers to open its ports for trade, and suddenly Europe and America were flooded with Japanese influence. It was revolutionary. Look at these examples where Japanese objects, costumes, and decor have been adopted by Western artists. But Japanese art also influenced ideas about how to compose a picture, how to create harmonious proportions and balanced contrasts. This idea of a balanced or harmonious composition had a name in Japanese. It was Notan. Notan was a new idea. Previously in the West, opposite tones were thought of as contrasting art elements, not as harmonious art elements. And Jean Arp's work benefited from this Japanese legacy. He achieved a balance between light and dark, but also a balance between chance and design. 
because no matter how much he tidied up the dropped papers, the chance element created surprising and unpredictable starting points for his new kind of abstract expression. Are you ready to try this yourself?